Namaskar, this tutorial is designed by experts and delivered by AI. To strengthen your understanding, be sure to answer the video quiz within this tutorial. And don't forget to download the practice problems with solutions from the link in the discussion or description box. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please join live doubt classes using the joining link. Now, let's learn Pandas basic attributes. In this tutorial, we are going to cover 8 important topics. First, understand what is attributes in Pandas library. Second, difference between attributes versus methods. Third, we will work with index attribute. Fourth, columns attribute. Fifth, values attribute. Sixth, D types attribute. 7th shape attribute and 8th size attribute. Now understand about basic attributes of panda series and data frame. What are attributes in panda series and data frame? Attributes give us important information about structure of dataset without modify or analyze the data. Let's explore some common attributes in pandas. Index attribute returns index or row labels of data frame or series. This tells us how rows are labeled, whether by default numbers or custom labels. Columns attribute display as the column labels or column names of a data frame. Values attribute returns underlying data of a data frame or series as a numpy array. This allow us to see raw data without any labels. Dtypes attribute returns data types of columns in a data frame or dtype of a series. It tells us whether data is numeric, text or something else. Shape attribute gives us a tuple representing number of rows and columns in a data frame or number of elements in a series. Size attribute returns total number of elements in a data frame or series. For a data frame, it's the number of rows multiplied by number of columns. Now, understand what is the difference between attribute and methods. In pandas, attributes return information about data structure itself. For example, attributes like shape, D types, and columns tell you about the structure and layout of your data frame or series. On the other hand, methods perform actions or transformations on the data. Examples of methods include head, which shows first few rows of the data, describe, which provides summary statistics, and group by, which groups data based on certain column. You can also think of attributes as nouns, they describe what of an object, like its characteristics or properties. And you can think of methods as verbs, they describe how of an object, showing how you can interact with or modify the data. Attributes help you understand your data, while methods allow you to work with your data. Now, create a pandas data frame. First, we import necessary libraries. Next, we define a data dictionary with columns like name, age, city, salary, gender, and experience. Finally, we create a data frame using pd.dataframe function. Now is the time to explore some basic attributes on our newly constructed data frame. The df.index attribute returns the index or row labels of the data frame. The output of this tells us that data frame has 6 rows starting from index 0 to 5. The df.columns attribute returns column labels or name of the data frame. Here we see column labels name, age, city, salary, gender, and experience. The df.values attribute returns underlying data of data frame as a numpy array. 
The output is data returned as a two-dimension numpy array showing all values in data frame. Df dot d types attribute returns data type of each column in data frame. The output tells us that name, city, and gender columns are of type object, while age, salary, and experience are numeric. Df dot shape attribute returns dimensions of data frame as a tuple, indicating number of rows and columns. The output tells us that data frame has six rows and six columns. The df dot size attribute returns total number of elements in data frame calculated as rows and columns. The data frame contains six rows and six columns. Therefore, total elements are 36. Time to check your understanding. Did you know? If you are working with a pandas data frame and want information about the structure of data, which of the following attributes would you use to get total number of elements in the data frame? Your options are Option A DF dot shape Option B DF dot index Option C DF dot size Option D DF dot values Which is the correct option? Your time starts now. The correct answer is option C. DF dot size. The DF dot size attribute returns total number of elements in data frame calculated as number of rows multiplied by number of columns. This gives you total count of individual data points. Let's practice and learn by doing. You are given a dataset containing information about different cities in India. Your task is to analyze dataset using pandas attribute functions. Find answer to below. Question 1. What is index or row labels of the data frame? Question 2. List columns in data frame. Question 3. Retrieve underlying data as a numpy array. Question 4. What are data types of each column? Question 5. What is data type of population column? Question 6. What is the shape of data frame? How many rows and columns does it contain? Finally, what is the total number of elements in data frame? Use pandas attributes to explore structure of your data frame. To download the correct answer with explanation of all the practice problems for free, follow the instructions given in discussion or comment section. Let's like and subscribe for more quick insights. Thanks for watching. Adhik Jankari ke liye like kari, subscribe kari. Dekhne ke liye